Hello, welcome, my name is Orla. In this channel I read short stories for children and adults who are interested. In this video I'll be reading another story from Fantasy Stories for Boys or anyone. These stories are written by Joff Brown. So cuddle down, get cozy and let's begin. This one is called the tinder box. <clears throat> Once upon a time, a soldier was returning home from war when he met an old witch. How would you like to have as much money as you want? asked the witch. I would like that very much, said the soldier. Then go down the hole in this tree and you'll find a cave with a door at the end. Open it and you will see a dog who guards a chest full of copper coins. Look around and you will see another door. Behind this is a second dog who guards a chest of silver coins. Next you will see a third door Go through it and you will find a dog who watches over a chest of gold coins. If you pick these dogs up and put them on my blue apron, they won't harm you. And you can take as many coins as you like. How much of this money will be mine? asked the soldier amazed. All of it. I just want a little old tinderbox that my grandmother left down there. It's a small box with a flint inside for lighting matches and it is guarded by the third dog. So that's the witch and the soldier and the hole in the tree. Okay. The soldier climbed down into the tree and opened the first door. Just as the witch has said, inside was a dog guarding a chest full of copper coins. Good doggy, said the soldier, picking up the growling dog and putting it on the blue apron the witch had given him. Filling his pockets with copper coins, the soldier put the dog back and opened the next door. The soldier and the dog. Inside this room was a second dog who guarded a chest full of silver coins. Plucking up his courage, the soldier grabbed the dog and put it on the blue apron. Then he grabbed handfuls of the silver coins. Opening the door to the last room, the soldier found a third dog, which was which guarded a chest full of gold coins. It snarled and slobbered, but the soldier picked it up and put it onto the apron. The fearsome dog sat quietly while the soldier filled his remaining pockets with gold. The soldier found the little tinder box, then made his way back to the hole in the tree. There's a soldier with the tinder box and it's her dog. Okay. The witch pulled the soldier out of the hole in the tree and asked for the tinder box. Why do you want it? asked the soldier. Just give it to me, screamed the witch and rushed to attack him. Her fingernails were like daggers. But the soldier was too fast for the witch. Before she could reach him, he drew his sword and chased her away. The soldier walked on until he reached a city. With all the money from the hole in the tree, the soldier was rich. He stayed in expensive rooms, bought the finest clothes and food, and soon he had made a lot of new friends. There's bags of money. 
In the middle of the city was a palace. A princess lives there, said his friends. It has been foretold that she will marry a common man. But her wicked father, the king, keeps her locked in the palace. The soldier bought so many expensive things that soon he had hardly any money left. He was forced to leave his rich lodgings and stay in a drafty old attic and all his new friends deserted him. One cold day the soldier decided to light a fire. He struck the old tinder box to get a spark and the brown dog appeared. What is your bidding my master? the dog growled. The soldier was delighted. Bring me some money. He said to the dog. The dog ran off in a flash, returned with a bag of copper coins. And there's the dog coming back with the bag of coins. The, the soldier found that if he struck the tinder box once, the first dog appeared. And if he struck it twice, the second dog appeared. Striking it three times brought the third dog. Soon the soldier had all the money he could spend again, but all he wanted was to meet the princess. So that night he commanded the first dog to bring her to him. The dog ran off and reappeared with the princess on his back. She was very beautiful and he kissed the astonished princess's hand before asking the dog to return her. I had such a strange dream last night, said the princess at breakfast the next day. When her father, the king, heard what was happening, he grew suspicious. A serving maid was sent to watch over her sleep. The next night, the second dog brought the princess to the soldier. The serving maid saw the dog take the princess to the soldier's house and she marked the door with a chalk cross. The next morning, the maid took the king and queen down to the door. She went in this house, she said. But all the houses had chalk crosses on. The clever dog had marked every house in the neighbourhood with chalk crosses to confuse the king and queen. On the third night, the queen tied a bag of flour to the princess's dress. The soldier sent the first dog to bring the princess, but he didn't notice the bag spill flour. The king and queen followed the trail of flour to the soldier's house and had him arrested. The soldier was dragged to prison without his tinder box. The next day, the soldier was due to be executed. He called through his prison bars to a passing boy. Please bring me my tinder box. The boy brought it and when the soldier was on the scaffold and about to execute, he asked the king for one last thing. Can I have one last smoke? The king agreed and the soldier brought out his tinder box and struck it once, twice, three times. The three dogs appeared and chased the wicked king and all the soldiers out of the city. The soldier was free and so was the princess. The soldier married the princess and became king of the city and they lived happily ever after the end. And there are the dogs chasing the king and the soldiers. That was another story from Fantasy Stories for Boys. Till the next one. Bye bye.